So this is a follow-up to my glitch video that I have on uh, Rebel Transmute. Um, this one's a boss glitch. I've now done it on two bosses, so I know that it works. Not exactly sure how it works, and because you have to exit the game and go back in, I can't record it as I'm doing it. But if you go back and watch my other video on how to do the glitch, you do the same thing, but um, you do it on the boss that you're fighting near the, the door. And then when you reload it, there's the boss, um, stupid Trans Reef 7, I think is his name. Oh, just a nightmare boss. Like, I almost killed him. I just, I had enough. So I, what I did is I went by the door where I am right now and just jumped up and down until he killed me. And then when I respawned doing the glitch, he's frozen and that's where I am. And you just go right past him. And you're in the next area of the map without actually killing the boss. Um, I did it on an eye, the eyeball boss a little bit earlier. Then I went back and killed him just like I will with this guy here. But it just allows you to proceed and make the game flow a little bit more than it does. Because you can get stuck in some parts and it's really frustrating. And it just alleviates all that stupid, unnecessary, frustrating backtracking in this game. Because there's no save points anywhere near where you die and he, it's just it makes it more frustrating than challenging like i've played challenging game eternus noctus dark souls elden ring um you know love metroidvanias uh what's it called um El and ender lilies which is one of my favorite by the way if you haven't played that and you like metroidvania is one well, that game's it's hard as hell but it's fantastic um after image just did pretty hard crazy boss fights too this one is in a different type of genre it's more in like the genre if you've ever played cathedral which again super hard game especially near the end but it's a metroidvania style retro you know um game that if you're checking this out you would probably like uh, Alwa's Awakening, Alwa's Legacy, all those games. Um, this one's just infuriating just because of how much potential it has and just some of the stupid designs that held it back, including the gun. I was lo so looking forward to blasting my way through Metroid style. And you've got like one weapon that goes like a foot in front of you and then you can enlarge it later and it goes a foot and a half in front of you. And it's just really frustrating. But the boss is sure... Um, get get tougher and get cool weapons and the enemies and the flying enemies and you don't have 360 shooting so if it was a twin stick and you could aim different directions and shoot it'd be better but it's not so a little bit like the Morbius machine kind of like that style um, frustrating game at points because it had the potential to be really good so this video went a little bit longer than I intended to because I ended up talking about different metroidvanias but if you're watching this you probably play those type of games so it might be relevant to you but yeah go back and watch the glitch where you just restart on my other video it'll tell you how to do it um, but really quickly wherever you are you basically as you're dying you exit the menu using the PlayStation home button go back into the game and you'll start back at a checkpoint which is your last checkpoint again playstation button close the game re-enter it again and you will be exactly where you left off when you died but with three health nodes and a refill so basically four health nodes to start if you have the double um syringe like i do here you'll end up with two and so you'll basically have full energy at where you start and as for boss rooms if you go near the door and try to die as close to the door as you can that's where you'll end up either in the other room or beside the boss with the boss frozen and you can skip and go get the next augmentation without actually killing the boss it worked on the eyeball boss i, f I forget what his name is but um hopefully that helps and uh apologies for the long video but hopefully you're enjoying the game and the video